And in business news, the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, Caldro, says it is working with livestock farmers in arid and semi-arid areas to increase the quality of livestock breeds in a bid to increase meat exports. The country currently produces 260,000 metric tons of beef against a demand of 300,000 metric tons. Climate is a big challenge in the arsal areas, much even more than the other areas. So we are training farmers on how to, 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 to manage their livestock so that they don't lose uh, their livestock to drought. We are producing about 260,000 metric tons of beef, but we are importing another 300,000 metric tons. So it means that we have a lot of room to produce more. Our objective is for the farmers to produce enough for the country and to export. We are doing limited exportation currently to Mauritius and to the, the Arab Emirates. But we would like our farmers to produce enough for the country and even export more and make money. Uh, this center has been providing breeding bulls to farmers in the arid and semi-arid areas for them to be able to improve their productivity. And this is uh, a sample of what you are seeing here. Uh, just a few days ago, we sold about 100 bulls to different farmers. And that's what we do every year to ensure that farmers are getting quality material to improve their productivity. In Taizata uh, Veta, Kuala, a place called Bachuma, the Ministry of Agriculture has built an export uh, processing zone whereby livestock from all parts of the country which are, which are going to be exported, they are taken there and, and kept there and processed so that they are, they are sure that whatever is being exported is clean. And part of the training that we are giving farmers today here is to ensure that the livestock that they have are disease-free so that they can be able to fetch a better market outside the country. Equity Group Holdings has released 